Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve this kind of trigonometry equations. If we have the function of the same kind, for this case, four sine function, and the angles are three consecutive either odd or even numbers, then we can make use of this method. Firstly, bring the term with the highest angle to the first place followed by the term with the smallest angle, which is sine 2x, followed exactly the plus minus sign, and followed by the rest of the terms, so minus sine 4x, and this is equal to the right-hand side, which is 0. And now we can apply the product sum identity. I'm going to use the first equation. Since we have positive or plus sign in between the two terms, exactly the same as here, so we are going to let a be equal to the higher angle which is 6x and b be equal to the lower angle which is 2x so a plus b divided by 2 is equal to 6x plus 2x divided by 2 and hence we have 4x now we have a minus b divided by 2 so we have 6x minus 2x divided by 2 which is equal to 2x and now let's substitute using the formula we should have 2 sine a plus b divided by 2 which is 4x times cos a minus b divided by 2 which is 2x and we minus sine 4x follow exactly the previous line and this should be equal to 0 and now let's factorize the common term so we have sine 4x times 2 cos 2x and we minus 1 this is equal to 0 which means that we should have two possibilities here one is sine 4x is equal to 0 another one is 2 cos 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Next, let's solve for the equations. If sine 4x is equal to 0, which means that 4x is equal to r sine 0. From here, we notice that x range from 0 degree to 360 degree, which means that 4x should range from 0 degree to 1440 degree. We know that r sine 0 is equal to 0 degree, 180 degree, and 360 degree. This is only for the angle in the first round. We need all together four rounds move from the first round to the second round what we have to do is simply take the angle plus 360 degree because we know that one complete cycle is 360 degree so zero degree plus 360 degree is equal to 360 degree which is already here so we can ignore and now we take 180 degree plus 360 degree and we should obtain 540 degree 360 degree plus 360 degree and we obtain 720 next is to take 540 plus 360 so we obtain 900 720 plus 360 1080 900 plus 360 which is 1260 1080 plus 360 which is 1440 which is already the maximum point that we should have so which means that we can stop here or we can count the check so this is the first round and we can notice that the end point of the first round is actually the start point of the second round so we have one two three and four rounds so we can definitely stop here what we need is x instead of 4x so remember to divide both sides by 4 so we have x is equal to 0 degree 180 degree divided by 4 which is 45 degree and for the next we have 90 degree 135 degree 180 degree 225 degree 270 degree 315 degree and 360 degree next let's solve for the second equation if 2 cos 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 which means that cos 2x is equal to positive 1 over 2 and 2x is equal to r cos 1 over 2 and this is equal to 60 degree recall that we have all sign teacher crazy if you want to have positive ratio for cos function which means that the angle must within the first or the fourth quadrant 
equivalently 0 degree to 90 degree or 207 degree to 360 degree. Since 60 degree is within 0 to 90, which means that it's in the first quadrant, so we can accept this value. Now let's determine the value in the fourth quadrant. If we have difficulty in calculating the value, we can make use of this method. Firstly, draw a line on the desired quadrant. For this case, it's the fourth quadrant. Always start from the x axis and move to the line that we have drawn. From here, we can see that at this point of line, we have 360 degree, and we should move backward by 60 degree. Move backward means that minus forward plus. So we should take 360 degree minus 60 degree, and we obtain 300 degree. Remember, do not simply stop at any point of line. Double check. What we need here is 2x x is from 0 to 360. So 2x, we should have two rounds, which is up to 720. In other words, we just have to take the angles and plus 360 each. So which means that we should have 420 and also 660. Next, let's divide both sides by 2. So we have 30 degree, 150 degree, 210 degree, 330 degree. Final step is to arrange all the angles in ascending order and we have all together 13 angles that satisfy the equation and hence we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.